when it comes to Thanksgiving, this is ground zero. Without the lady you see here, there might never have been a national Thanksgiving day. This is Sarah Josepha Hale, and we are, by the way, in Newport, New Hampshire. Sarah Hale came from Newport, born here in 1788, married a local lawyer. The couple had five children, but her husband caught pneumonia and died. Local Masonic order raised funds and set her up as a milliner, but she hated making hats. This time, she wrote a novel. The novel took place in Northwood, New Hampshire. In fact, it was called Northwood. It was a big seller. And in 1828, Sarah moved to Boston. Where for the next eight years, she edited a magazine called The Ladies Magazine. The Ladies Magazine was bought by Louis Godey, and he lived in Philadelphia, and he folded it into his publication, which was Godey's Ladies Book. Sarah Hale became the editor of this magazine. Now, Godey's Ladies Book became the most popular woman's magazine in the entire United States, made Sarah Hale a rock star. She had celebrity, honor, respect, power. She knew the A-list of the time. She knew Oliver Wendell Holmes, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Washington Irving. She was on personal speaking terms with President Lincoln himself. The start of the Civil War, Sarah Hale wrote an editorial in Godey's proposing that Lincoln proclaim a National Day of Thanksgiving. And in September of 1863, she wrote a personal letter to Lincoln, stating such a holiday would become a great Union festival. And Lincoln agreed, and from 1863 on, we have celebrated the holiday. Now, I am a huge fan of Sarah Josepha Hale. I have her portrait on my wall. There it is. I have her biography. I have a collection of Godey's Ladies book. I even have her bobblehead doll, which I display alongside my own bobblehead doll. See, without this lady, there would be no Thanksgiving Day. And so on this holiday, one of the things I give thanks for is Sarah Josepha Hale herself. Why, thank you, Fritz.